Hello everyone, this is Broby one Kenobi, also known as Kyle, and I am back here on my Feed the Beast server some more, doing some more feeding of the beast, and uh, I've been getting ready to make the advanced machines as I mentioned before, and actually what I should have done before camera was craft this down into carbon fibers, I have to con uh, convert, uh, what's it? compress that stuff eventually, but not right now. So what we want to look for is the... Um, Macerator. Automatic Macerator. Interesting. Um, so we need refined iron, advanced machine block, and a Macerator. So we have refined iron right here. Advanced machine block. And ma Nope, oh, that's not Macerator. That's a Macerator. And that gets us the Rotary Macerator. It's the first of our upgraded machines. Um, the next one we want to do is the compressor singularity compressor now this needs seven obsidian advanced machine block and a compressor let's go grab some obsidian three four five six seven one two three four five six seven advanced machine block and compressor singularity compressor fantastic and the last of them will be the extract centrifuge extractor. Oh, electrolyzed water cells. So this might be a bit of an issue. So I put the water cell in an electrolyzer. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, so we need cells. Pretty sure we don't have enough. We really need to conserve tin or find more. But let's make eight. Yeah, because we need seven, right? Okay, so let's go downstairs and electrolyze some water cells. Now that we have that tank in the basement, it makes, uh, makes life a lot easier. Do, 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 do. So we need to electrolyze seven water cells. So let's go ahead and do that. And the aqueous accumulator should refill this no problem, which it is. Which is fantastic. That thing is awesome. And this way, when we need water cells for the grinder, it's very easy to get them. We just have to wait for seven of these to finish. We are already halfway there. Um, how are these guys doing? They're about half. That's not bad. Oh, and I upgraded um, to a bunch more reinforced casings on the industrial blast furnace. So now you see the heat capacity is 1800k, it was just 1520 before. Um, you know, I tried to keep the pattern pretty even, but I didn't have enough materials to really make more than what I just made. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Eventually I get around to upgrading the whole thing to a reinforced casing, because then it gets a higher heat capacity. And as you see, some of the recipes, such as uh, for hot tungsten steel ingots, I, you need 3000 heat capacity, which I don't have. Uh, same thing, hot tungsten steel, don't have it. And the only other thing I can't make is tungsten. Uh, you can't smelt tungsten dust into tungsten ingots. Uh, because it needs 2500. So I got a ways to go for that. But, uh, electrolyzed water cells. Which is significantly easier than I remember it being when I had to, uh, completely make an electrolyzer just to do that. Now we already have an electrolyzer, so it's pretty simple. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Advanced machine block. And extractor gets us a centrifuge extractor. Fantastic. So we've got all three of these advanced machines now. One thing we will need is uh I believe no not here. Not here either. This one? Some levers. Or levers, if you will. And what I might do should I do this now? Hmm. Yeah, I guess not. Um, well, you know what? Give me this really quick. Let me borrow Bender. Bender, you're going over there. Okay, so that's the induction furnace. The thing we use the least is probably the extractor. So we'll plop that down. And it is speeding up, which is fantastic. Um... I guess we'll throw the macerator right there. 
and the oh, and, oh we threw the compressor there that's fine compressor and the rotary macerator which also needs a redstone signal there we go uh, this lever will power the adjacent blocks too so that's why these two started up right away while the uh, and the macerator did not, but the macerator is now speeding up. Energy, so which is kind of nice, but now we have four of the advanced machines, and these guys will do a very good job of. Uh, you know, doing what we needed them to. We should be able to compress like this raw carbon mesh. Look at how much faster that is already. And this thing's not even up to full speed yet. But and the extractor, if we throw sticky resin in, much much faster. And the macerator, we don't really have much that we can throw in there, but I'm going to throw a little bit of cobble to make it into sand, so you just so you can see how much faster it is. And this is the rotary macerator. Again, these machines aren't even up to full speed yet, like how the induction furnace is at 100%. These guys are not at full speed, and yet they are. Look at, look at how much faster that extracts. So, so much better. So this will increase my times of being able to process ores and whatnot, and uh, yeah, just uh, all around good stuff. So we'll wait for this uh, sticky resin to finish. And that's the reason why I moved these other two machines down here, just so they're out of the way a bit. The plate bending machine and the automatic wire mill. Both will be useful, but not at the current moment for us. Oh, and that's good. It can hold more than one stack, so that's even better. And there we go. Whoa, we now get experience from that. That is awesome. Wow, what's the freaking speeds that these go up to? Jeez. Um, yeah, anyway. So that's awesome. So that's the upgraded machines that I've been meaning to make. And uh, that'll make our life quite significantly easier. You know, pretty successful episode, I would say. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.